Hello and welcome. I am Yijun Dudao, developer of the Wikibase software and maintainer of Semantic MediaWiki. In this video, I will give you an overview of what the Semantic Wikibase extension can do for you. Semantic Wikibase is a MediaWiki extension that connects Wikibase to Semantic MediaWiki. I will demo how this connection works and highlight some of the cool things it enables. But first, I will briefly explain what Wikibase and Semantic MediaWiki are. Both Wikibase and Semantic MediaWiki are extensions to MediaWiki, the software that powers Wikipedia. Like MediaWiki itself, they are fully open source, so that means you can download them for free and use them on your own. Wikibase and Semantic MediaWiki both allow you to manage data within your wiki, rather than just having text. This means you get things such as structured editing with autocompletion, restrictions on the values that can be added, queries, visualizations, and more. In essence, they turn your wiki into a collaborative database with a flexible schema. Wikibase was first created for wikidata.org, which is a huge structured open data repository. It's operated by the same nonprofit that is behind Wikipedia and it interoperates with Wikipedia. In the last two years or so, various organizations have recognized that they can use Wikibase themselves to manage or publish their own structured data. Semantic MediaWiki can be seen as a predecessor to Wikibase. Their use cases and strengths differ, so it's not that Wikibase is a more recent version of Semantic MediaWiki. Unlike Wikibase, Semantic MediaWiki has been used for over a decade and is installed on over 1000 public wikis. It comes out of the box with visualizations and dynamic lists that can be embedded into wiki pages. For a more detailed comparison between Semantic, wiki, Semantic MediaWiki and Wikibase, see our blog post, which is linked in the video description below. This is my development wiki on which we will try out Semantic Wikibase. Excuse the complete lack of styling. Both Wikibase, Semantic MediaWiki and Semantic Wikibase are installed. We start by creating a new item about the Dutch city of Amsterdam. We do this via the special new item page provided by Wikibase. Once the item has been created, we can add additional data to it. Let's indicate that Amsterdam is located in the Netherlands and add its geographical coordinates. Data stored in Wikibase is automatically made available in Semantic MediaWiki. This Semantic MediaWiki page shows that the data from our Wikibase item is available as expected. This data includes the Wikibase ID, it includes the Wikibase label, and it includes the properties that we added. Semantic MediaWiki treats the values coming from Wikibase just like the values directly defined in Semantic MediaWiki. This allows you to combine data from Wikibase and Semantic MediaWiki seamlessly. It also enables usage of all Semantic MediaWiki features for Wikibase data, for instance, queries and visualizations. This page contains two Semantic MediaWiki queries for all pages with coordinates on them. The first query visualizes these coordinates onto a map, while the second query gathers some additional information and lists this in a table. This was a demo of Semantic Wikibase 1.0 which should be considered to be mainly suitable for early adopters. We would love to hear your feedback. Connecting Semantic MediaWiki and Wikibase is a step towards connecting Semantic MediaWiki and Wikidata. Building on top of the connection that we already have, we'd like to enable using data from Wikidata directly in your own Semantic Wiki. We are looking for funding to make this happen. For more information, see the blog post linked in the description below. The description also contains a link to our blog about the first release of Semantic Wikibase, as well as a link to installation instructions and further documentation. 